This week's video is picking up stitches through the center of the fabric away from the edges. As always, if you'd like to jump directly to a specific point in the video, there are direct links down in the description. Some projects require picking up stitches through the center of the fabric rather than along an edge. Some examples might be the flip top of a convertible mitten where you'd pick up stitches along the back of the hand. Um, you might have embellishments, uh, dog ears or horns or something like that on a hat. Sometimes pockets on the front of a sweater are picked up uh, in that way as well. There are lots of, of reasons why you might need to use this sort of, of a technique. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is figure out what span of stitches you're going to be picking up and you're going to mark on either side of it. So I want to pick up a span of five stitches on a horizontal. So I'm going to mark the stitch to the right. Now I want to count five stitches over. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the last stitch. That means that I need to mark this stitch. So I have those um, two stitches marked. I'm going to be picking up through the center of each of those five stitches. Now because we don't have an edge to guide us, it's very easy to pick up through the first two correctly and then all of a sudden you end up on the wrong row here or you come down the wrong row. So what we're going to do is give ourselves a guide and we do that by running some contrast yarn right above it. So that is our guideline there. Now the second challenge is that we are creating new stitches on a needle above the surface of this existing fabric. And in order to uh, get those loops, the working yarn has to be underneath here. So we're pulling that yarn from behind this piece of fabric to the front. Once we have all of our stitches on the needle though, and we want to work the stitches that are on here back and forth, the working yarn needs to be on this side of the fabric. This is the last stitch we're going to pick up through the center of and this is the marked stitch to the left. So what we would do is we bring the yarn tail down from the, the right side of the fabric down through between these two stitches through to the back. And the way I do that is by bringing a crochet hook up from behind. So I put it between those two stitches. I loop the yarn around it and we pull it through to the back. So now what we want to do is look for the first place, we use our yarn guide, go down through the center of this first stitch, and then we're going to grab a loop of the yarn. Now it's hard to see what you're doing, so we can flip on this back side. We want to make sure that, that we're always grabbing the working yarn end of of this yarn and not the tail end. In this first stitch it seems like well it's the same, but just make sure you have um, the tail here, you've got your working yarn in this hand and you're holding on to the working yarn end in this hand. Now you can feel the top of the hook and you can loop it around and now you can pull it through to the front. So you've got one stitch on the hook and we're going to keep that on the hook. We're going to go down through the center of the next stitch and again, make sure that you're grabbing the working end right here. It's the little loop that's coming back up through the surface. Hold on to that, wrap it around, and pull it back through to the front. So now you've got two on here. You're just going to keep stacking them up. If you have to pick up a lot of stitches, um, you might want to do these in batches of 10 or 15. But for five stitches, we can keep all of them on the hook. So I'm sticking through, I'm wrapping the working end around the hook, pulling it through, and now I've got one more hook around. So I've got five loops on my crochet hook. And now I'm going to slide them off the end, and I'm using that smaller DPN. I use the smaller DPN when I pick up stitches along the edge as well. Keeps, keeps the join from being gappy. Now I'm going to adjust the tension to tighten things up. So we've got the working yarn where we want. It's looped around this leg of that stitch there and we're all ready to um, work a row. And I can purl the stitches across. 
So you can see that the new stitches we picked up through the center of an existing stitch, they just look like they're continuing the uh, original fabric, but instead will be coming up vertically away from um, the original surface of the fabric. If you want to pick up stitches vertically, you do a similar thing. You mark the beginning and ending points where you want your stitches to be picked up. On the vertical, you'll be picking up between two columns of stitches. So you have this column of stitch and that column of stitch. It's just like picking up between the selvage stitch and the second stitch in. You'll be picking up in the gaps between stitches. And you'll be skipping every so often, just like you would on an edge. You'll be picking up two out of every three or three out of every four or whatever ratio you want to pick up. So you need to figure out where the last stitch is that you're going with the last hole where you're going to be um, picking up stitches and you bring that yarn tail down in the in the hole after that. So I have the yarn tail um, here and I would pick up my first stitch along here. But once again, you insert this again between two stitches hook the yarn and then you're going to be skipping every so often. So you're, you're skipping every third or fourth uh, row for picking up. So now I have my five stitches on the needle and I have my working yarn ready to work back and forth. Now sometimes what you need to do is pick up in a square or some or a circular sort of thing because you're going to be knitting a tube out from the surface of the fabric. So if you're picking up in the round and this is your first stitch that you're going to be picking up, your last place will be between these uh, two columns of stitches right here. So the place that you bring your yarn tail down through in order to start would be right here above where the first stitch is. It's immediately to the left of where you'd be picking up your last stitch. And then your working yarn will be in position for when you work in the round. This technique has a lot of uses, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but it is important that you have access to the wrong side of the work of the original piece of fabric. If you're adding legs to a toy, for example, um, you, you can't do it if the, t if the toy, the body of the toy is already stuffed and then you don't have access to the back side. But other than that, um, as long as you can either peek under or over the top, of an edge somewhere, um, this is an, a really great way of picking up stitches. To see the entire playlist for this series of picking up stitches, you can click on the playlist up above my shoulder. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd really appreciate it if you did. You can hover over my face here and then click on the subscribe button. Or if you're on a mobile device, tap on my face and then click on subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.